Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Marcus Conti reporting. Good morning. Good morning on this Monday, August 26, 2019. We're still here. The climate hasn't, the, the atmosphere hasn't popped yet. We haven't been all locked up by the deep state. We're still here. So Marcus Conti reporting. Do some uh, speed reading the news today. We'll talk about uh, interesting interesting uh, development in the MCC correctional facility. A people are they got tell they got cell phones. They're broadcasting on the inmates are broadcasting out on Facebook. You heard? Talk about that. Show a little bit um, a little bit uh, interesting case of a English professor basically teaching QAnon in his class. Uh, in Mesa, California, we'll look at that one. CNN hires Andrew McCabe. A baby dies of, of a vegan diet. Really? Take a look at that. Sanders will take a little stab. I think is um, the spell, very briefly, the, the satanic black magic ritual spell is taking effect. And Bernie Sanders is coming out with his ass. Coming out blazing. Fucking, it only took a day to work, right? We'll look at... Uh, also, a little LARP news. I'm, I'm trying to set up. I'm trying to set up the magic debate, the the ultimate debate between frivolous Dave Acton and the umbrella pink umbrella wielding Jason Goodman in their recent case. Their recent case. Two confirmed, two federally confirmed conspiracy theorists going head to head in a debate with yours truly moderating. Tell me about that. Wouldn't be a fucking great story. I don't have my I don't have my uh, my clapper app. <laughs> that wouldn't that be a great great video? So we'll talk about that. So let's start with uh, MC MCC inmate using video shows. MCC uh, inmate uh, is using an illicit phone for Facebook live broadcasts. Could you could you imagine that shit, man? This is a phone. I didn't see the video. I didn't see the video, but the post is reporting that they have seen it. And there's a video of a guy, an inmate, awaiting trial on murder and conspiracy charges. Uses a, uses a cell phone to broadcast a Facebook Live video from inside the same Manhattan lockup where Jeffrey Epstein hanged himself, the Post has learned. The shocking breach of security at the Federal Metropolitan Correctional Center occurred last month and is part of a large-scale investigation into the use of a cell phone by prisoners there. Cell phones by prisoners, plural. More than one cell phone by more than one prisoner. Uh, two correction officers pleaded guilty last year to accepting bribes oh, ha, 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 to smuggle cell phones and other, other contraband into the MCC, where two high-profile prisoners, former CIA computer engineer, uh, blah, 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 both had cell phones, right? The uh, M MC, right, so here's the guy, right? Michael Reed. Michael Reed is a rapper. He's a rapper. He's a rapper. Michael Reed, rapper. I'm a rapper and a killer. Uh, so, so there you go. So the, the video is grainy and poorly lit, but appears to show Reed, 26, sitting on the bottom of a bunk bed underneath a light embedded in a cement ceiling. Reed is one of 10 reputed rock stars members. Rock stars members who allegedly chased a viral gang banger. Um, another just drug jerk off fucking rap shit. <laughs> Killed the guy. Uh, here's a here's an interesting, uh, just an interesting thought, right? About Epstein, right? Because that case is is pertinent to Epstein. It shows you the the leaks in the MCC facility in the federal prison facility. It shows just how vulnerable one is when inside such a facility. And, and somebody wrote on, on Zero Hedge, I guess we got to give them credit. This is, uh, this is these guys' authors, uh, Ted Rall and uh, the Yuns Review. I don't know who these people are. But it, they say this, we don't know how Epstein bit it, how he got knocked off. But the fact of Epstein's death tells us everything we need to know about America today. No matter what, Epstein died because the government let it happen. He was a ward of the state, the highest of high-profile prisoners, a man whose trial stood to expose extreme wrongdoing at the expense of numerous horribly violated victims, yet no one in charge took steps to make certain that he appeared at every hearing healthy and alive. 
The carelessness of the powers that be reflects the coincidence that they shall never, ever be held accountable for anything. Wow, what a, what a, what a way to sum it up, man. I couldn't agree more. Thank you very much. Zero Hedge. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's what it is, man. We're living in a time where, where what happened to Epstein? We don't know. There's so many now 20 correction officers are subpoenaed. Are they going to go in front of the grand jury and lie in stereo? Of course they are. Of course. That's what, that's what they do. They go in. They lie. They cheat. They steal. Uh, so we'll never know. We'll never know. But it is, it is interesting that a cell, phone, cell phones pop up in jails all the time. So here's a Mesa. This is crazy, right? QAnon. Congratulations to QAnon. QAnon has made the college campus on the inside as, as a professor, the one wild-eyed professor, has decided to give a lecture on QAnon. Not a lecture, but he played a 14-minute video. Let's find out. So Mesa College English professor showed QAnon videos in class, students say. Oh, it's not so bad, right? It's just a fucking theory, right? It's no big deal. An English professor at Mesa College kicked off the fall sem- semester by showing the class a YouTube video spreading a far-right conspiracy theory, according to four students. The 14-minute vi- video showed by adjunct professor Douglas Belmore in at least two classes promoted QAnon as an online community that subscribes to the theory that a Kabbalic A cabal of satanic, cannibalistic pedophiles has infiltrated the American government, media, and entertainment industry. That's that's legitimate, right? I mean, guess that's that's what I would pay to go to college to to learn about is Q, right? Fucking rather than teaching it teaching it as a online conspiracy, you know, kook uh, uh, theory gone wild. The spread of online conspiracies, he's teaching it as, as if it's truthful. So it's kind of interesting, right? So President Trump, according to QAnon, has been secretly working to arrest the perpetrate, perpetrators of the global conspiracy, which involves Obama, Bush, Clinton, Rothschilds, George Soros, and John uh, McCain, and others. The theory originated from the toxic message board, message board 4chan where an anonymous user with the pseudonym Q, the pseudonym Q, has been posting Qs related to the conspiracy since 2019. You guys better hold your shit together, man, because the Gambino motherfuckers are coming for you. They're coming for you, coming for you, man, because you know what? Even even um, this latest uh, breaking story with, uh, with Dave Atkin, the failed actor, conspiracy theorist and Jason Goodman throwing 20 frivolous motions back and forth, guess what? That's going to be tied into the the QAnon killer conspiracy because that's precisely what that what the judge, uh, what the uh, uh, defense attorney in the QAnon killing case with Anthony Camillo, who shot, the, who shot dead the, the um, Gambino crime boss, Frankie Cali. That's precisely the, the core of his argument is that conspiracy theories like QAnon uh, are the cause of these, these kind of mental breakdowns in people. Uh, that's what we're seeing more of. So congratulations, guys. You may just be named in, the, in a real case of a real killing with gangsters and mobsters and killers here in New York City. Wow, shit, it's breaking news, man. I'm just breaking that for you right now. Breaking that shit down for you. Uh, we're going to try to get those two guys on the uh, on the show, and we'll have a, a, a little discussion. Right? I know they both hate me, but that's that makes me the perfect moderator. So, so CNN hires former FBI number two Andy McCabe, who was fired for leaking and lying. <laughs> CNN has no, um, there's no morality. There's nothing. There's nothing left. It's an empty shell. It's an empty shell. CNN. Another uh, ex-Obama official has joined the ranks of anti-Trump cable news punditry. Uh, This time disgraced FBI number two, Andrew McCabe. Does Andrew McCabe even need, you know, uh, uh, an introduction? He's the guy who's, you know, basically behind promoting Hillary Clinton and and denigrating Donald Trump was behind probably the, you know, the the cover-up of the election fraud against Bernie Sanders. 
guy's a class A creep. And what does CNN do? Right? See, I always told you that these guys will never be prosecuted. Not only are they not prosecuted, but they're let out the back door and their co-conspirators, the mainstream media, then hires them. He'll then go into corporate, the corporate side of things, right? It's just a, it's just a revolving door of corruption. Right? So, so, so all those people that thought Andrew McCabe was going to have a bad life and he was going to go down the shitter, he probably just got a half a million million dollar deal from CNN to promote what he does, which is fake news. Uh, so McCabe, uh, who is suing the DOJ and FBI, pff, he's not going to get a dime, over what he claims was a politically motivated firing just days before he was set to retire with full benefits, will join former director of national intelligence James Clapper at CNN. Ah, water seeks its level once again. CNN, James Clapper, and, and, and Andrew McCabe. I bet, uh, I bet uh, Comey comes along as well. Andrew McCabe, one of the central figures of the Russia collusion hoax, was hired was fired from the FBI for lying about his leaks to the media, has been hired by CNN, one of the media outlets that did the most to perpetrate the damaging hoax. Ah, yes, Andrew McCabe. Well, it's good. It's good stuff, man. Good stuff, man. And Andy got a, got a good deal, huh? So here's a fake news story about vegan hamburgers. Right now, Burger King just put out the new Whopper. The Impossible Burger prank becomes Burger King feeding frenzy. What do you know? Burger King puts out a, a, veg, a vegetable-based hamburger created by Impossible Burger, uh, Impossible Meat Corporation. There's also Beyond Meat and Impossible Meat. They're two separate companies. Impossible Meat is privately held Beyond Meat, B-Y-N-D, is uh, traded on the NASDAQ. It's uh, publicly traded. So, so, but uh, Impossible Meat got its Whopper into the, uh, got its meat into the Whopper. Got its fake meat into the Whopper, right? That's a good thing, right? So people like it. Just a, you know, just a brief touching on it, that people are, I had it. I'm a, I'm a vegetarian. I haven't eaten meat in over know, 10 years. And... To me, to my taste buds, it was okay. But you know what I did try? I tried the, uh, the, impo- the Beyond Meat Sausage Burger at Dunkin' Donuts. The, 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 that is, oh my God, fucking so good, man. It's sausage. I mean, I haven't tasted sausage in years, so I don't even know what it tastes like. I smell it. I've accidentally bit into meat a few times when... A waiter would bring you something that they, oh, I made a mistake. You're fucking why meat? So why? It's fucking chicken, man. It's not meat. It's fish. So I've done, that's happened to me a couple of times. But uh, aside from that, I haven't had meat or any anything to compare it to in a long time. But man, is this a good breakfast sandwich. Uh, it's good, right? But th- here's a story about, I'll play this video and give me a break for a second. About a uh, a vegan diet for a small child in in fucking New Zealand or Australia? Where is it? New Zealand, in Australia. Yeah, these fucking people are screwballs down there, down under, down from under. They're fucking the, the the New Zealand shooting guy, right? You can't even talk about anything, New Zealand. It's like a, you might as well be a communist fucking country, right? Now they're they're perpetrating some fake news, and I I gotta I gotta shit on R R T for reporting this. Uh, because and uh, and I'll tell you why. Because I'm a I, I I've told you many times. I studied nutrition at the very prestigious Syracuse University's College for Human Development back in the '80s, and I was a clinical nutritionist for a number of years, right? With a view towards becoming the greatest sports medicine nutritionist in the world, right up there with uh, Dr. Atkins, and then it didn't work out. <laughs> so. Or whatever, I, I moved on to, to become for, for rock star fame. But nonetheless, I was a bona fide nutritionist, trained nutritionist, walking around in a, in a, in a nursing home and hospitals with a white, with a white, you know, white robe on, talking to people about their diets. So when I hear this kind of nonsense, I have a, not only a, a, an opinion, but an expert opinion. Let's listen. Australia, whose child was found to be seriously malnourished after being placed on a vegan diet, to have escaped jail after a judge handled them, handed them 300 hours of community service instead. Now, according to police, the baby was severely underweight after being placed on a vegan diet from birth. 
Eating only oats and sparse veg, she weighed less than five kilograms, suffering from major problems with her bones. She was hardly able to eat. Doctors said she'd developed only as much as a three-month-old and had no teeth. Correct me if I'm wrong, but less than five kilograms is, is, is like 12 pounds. That's not, that's not underweight. Less than five kilograms? Only as much as a three bones. She was hardly able to eat. Doctors said she developed only as much as a three month old and had no teeth because of a lack of necessary vitamins. The parents faced vitamins. huge criticism for not thinking of the consequences of their actions. He said vitamins. The failure of a parent to discharge his or her parental responsibility to their child by providing the necessities of life Causing a danger of serious injury is undoubtedly very serious conduct. No, you know what's very serious conduct? You wearing that stupid hat. What the hell is that on your freaking head? Is that a fucking... What is that? A sheep A sheep blanket? Is that a sheep skin on your head? God damn it. This... Particularly where the child is very young and is unable to independently care for himself or herself at all. One could in fact argue that there is no greater responsibility than that owed by a parent to his or her child to care for the child, to nurture the child and to protect the child from any harm or injury. Caring for the girl was caring for a very young baby. She couldn't sit up, she couldn't speak any words, she couldn't feed herself or hold a bottle, she couldn't play with toys, she spent the day in her court rolling back and forth, she couldn't roll over all the way. Well, this case raised the question of whether it's appropriate to use vegan diets for small children. Despite the protests, some experts, including those in the American Academy of Pediatrics, thinks it's acceptable and can be good for children. Acceptable and can be good for children. You bet your fucking ass it can be acceptable. And so I don't agree with the I don't agree with the judge's premise that there has to be something else going on. It's a young person who is taking care of a young child. And doesn't know what they're doing. They don't know how to mix vegetables. They don't. They're not. They think like, oh, I'll feed the kids salad or something. And in the, it can't. It, but there's so many sources of various proteins. Everything contained in meat is contained in in vegetables if you mix them up correctly. Right? Even in the growth stages, right? Probably more so. Humans are uh, omnivores. They can. We can eat meat or vegetable, but the meat. Uh, a lot. Also, what's interesting too about this study is that the, the they're saying that the child didn't grow rapidly uh, like he should, like a regular human child. But the fact is, animals are so pumped with uh, with uh, synthetic growth hormone that that's probably one of the reasons we're seeing bulky, fatty, you know, autistic children because of the the mass uh, uh, hormones. Just a theory. But well, there's actually evidence to suggest that that the there is a correlation between hormones and meat, and uh, uh, violence and and uh, uh, um, you know AD uh, the 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 inability to focus as well uh, in children. So well, I'm sorry, I interrupted. However, not all agree with them on that. We discussed the issue with Judy Moore, a registered dietitian and nutritionist, and Patrick Holden, the founding director of the Sustainable Food Trust. The contact between health visitors now with our health services is, is quite poor um, and children aren't seen nearly as regularly or as often as they used to be, say, 10 or 15 years ago. And I think that's one of the problems, that health visitors just can't keep a keep an eye on the... Uh, uh, unhealthy diets. It's possible to keep the child healthy, but they do need supplements. You can't just rely on a vegan diet. Yes, we need to eat less meat, but don't give it up altogether. Eat the right kind of meat, and that's good for your health. Even if you do all that, and you help, and somebody helps you plan the diet very well, your child won't grow to their height, uh, their genetically potential height, because we believe that milk protein and meat protein also are a factor, an important factor in growth. It's the it's the hormones that they're pumping into the the goddamn. Why is first of all cow milk feeding a human child cow milk is not a, a natural uh, thing to do. That's why you know probably very challenging, and you have to be an expert nutritionist to get it right. And uh, that's probably the, very challenging. That that's the that's the comment I wanted I wanted to play. I found it. 
Listen to this guy. Listen to this guy spoke. Are a factor, an important factor in growth. It's probably very challenging, and you have to be an expert nutritionist to get it right. And I would argue that perhaps. So he's arguing that that to become a vegan as a child, to feed a, a child a vegan diet, you have to be an expert nutritionist to get it right. That's just so fucking unwrong. That's so wrong. You could summate. You could summate the vegan. The a diet for vegan for children in, in 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 a page really really because it's just about mixing vegetables it's just about a basic class you could teach it in fifteen minutes what what to feed a human child but we don't even feed we don't even talk about these things in school right? they could teach it in kindergarten first grade second grade they can do it's so easy you can make I should make a fifteen minute video on it right how to how to how to survive as a vegan it's so dumb. So just a quickie on, on Sanders. So the satanic ritual that I... Bernie Sanders! Feel the burn! Satanic ritual, feel the burn! Feel the burn! Bernie Sanders, feel the burn! <laughs> Sanders. Uh, I told you Bernie Sanders would make everybody feel the burn. A little satanic. It, it only took a day or two. That was just a weekend, a late Saturday night, uh, 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 you know, ritual. And already it's Monday, and Sanders is coming out, spewing venom, venom, venom at uh, Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell doesn't have the guts to debate the national issues. Uh, no, he doesn't. He's a coward, man. But it, it says here. I just wanted to talk about that. It's good that Sanders is is coming out challenging. Mitch McConnell, the Senate Majority Leader, who's who's basically you know cock blocking any legitimate policy in the Senate, uh, and it's good that he's challenging him. But it, this is I want to just point to this talking point of Mitch McConnell, a typical straight up Republican talking point that is really the obstacle should be the obstacle that the American people should challenge. So Bernie Sanders goes down to Kentucky, where Mitch McConnell is a sitting senator. And he, he basically tells him that Mitch McConnell is not for the people. He's for the billionaire class. And Bernie Sanders, that's exactly what Bernie Sanders does. But this is Mr. Mitch McConnell's uh, response. Right? Ahead of Sanders' visit to Kentucky, McConnell's office uh, referred to a recent op-ed by the senator that denounced the agenda of progressives. The Republican leader referred to the Green New Deal the sweeping Democratic proposal to combat climate change and Medicare for all as, quote, job-killing and dangerous ideas. Uh, now, again, is, uh, are you a Republican? Are you a Democrat? It doesn't fucking matter. The point is that if you are those things, what they're trying to do, the Republicans are trying to smear the Democrat to join the Republican, and, and, and that's just the right-left paradigm that people fall into. Correct. However, Sanders is an independent. You remember? He represents the 40, 50 percent of the people in the middle that want to overthrow the Democratic Party and be and and reign a new freedom and a new deal for the American people. Uh, people believe, oh, that's socialism. No, it's not socialism. So here's the smear, and then we'll talk about LARPs quickly. They would raise, this is what McConnell's saying. They would raise your taxes and give the federal government vast control over your life, he wrote. That's why President Trump and I are fighting hard to stop them. As long as I'm Senate Majority Leader, these socialist schemes will never become law. Ah, spoken like a true money-grabbing bureaucrat, whatever else you want to call him, Mitch McConnell, money-grabber, money in politics. Right? Just take the money and smear the policies of the people by the people for the people so let's talk about larps this is this is sir david sir sir d david george schwaghart not david this is david Ak Akins, acton david acton the prepper kitty right who fought who, who leveled the lawsuit against jason goodman the umbrella pink umbrella wielding new yorker quote new yorker uh and this is and this is their lawsuit so what i wanted to do because it's such an it's such a, an amazing lawsuit that that is one of the first of the online community where two individuals are confirmed conspiracy theorists look at the eyes of a conspiracy theorist 
These are the eyes of a conspiracy theorist. You'll listen to me. I am a conspiracy theorist. I will sue you. I will sue you. I am Dave Atkins, conspiracy theorist. My, my ideas are incomprehensible and illogical, but it doesn't matter. I will sue you. <laughs> so fucking. So it's Dave Atkins, At, Atkin, whatever the fuck your name is. And so I, I reached out to him and, and Mr. Jason Goodman, right? And I said, I said, I said, I said, request for an interview. I wanted to interview J- Dave Atkins. I had asked him a while ago, and he told, he told me, no, no, no. It's a classic, you know, narcissist, you know, passive aggressive. He'll never, he'll never say yes to it. Instead, what he did was he blew me off and said, it's more appropriate. He's going to school me. More appropriate. That, the, that we'll do it after his, his other pile of bullshit that he hands off to the judge. And after Jason hands another pile of bullshit to the judge. My my invitation is now or 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 never. It's now or never. Ah, la, la, la. <laughs> so I I respectfully reached out to these two guys, Mr. Dave George Schwagart, Pepper Kitty, David Atkins, Atkin, A- Acton, can't get his name right. Jason Goodman, uh, it would be my honor for me to have you both on my show to discuss the finer points of the above-referenced case of public interest. Topic will be judge's summary judgment. Quote, this is a frivolous dispute between two litigants whose voluminous court filings rehash their incomprehensible and illogical online conspiracy theories. Ah, what, what, better, what better show can you come up with for online conspiracy theories, then two guys have been who are confirmed in a federal by a federal judge to be conspiracy theorists. Co, oh, please, God, come on my show, please, guys. So I, I give him that invitation. Twenty, thirty, you know, thirty, forty minutes. Very polite. Do it via Skype or audio. Uh, uh, if having both of you. Two big guns on the show at the same time is too much for either of you. I am open to shooting one, one-on-one segments with each of you and airing them together respectfully. Marcus Conti reporting. So I reached out to him, and, and, and so far Goodman has not responded, and Dave Acton has responded, blowing me off once again to tell me that I'll do it later, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next week, when, 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 when. So these are all signs of a conspiracy kooky, 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 visions of grand, grandiose sense of self-importance. These are actually the DSM-5 uh, diagnoses of, uh, of mental disorder of conspiracy theorists. I'll read them off. There's ten, nine quickies and I'll let you go because I'm already up to a half an hour. God, these shows are getting so long because I'm so, I have so much to offer these days. A grandiose sense of self-importance, number one. <laughs> These two guys have grandiose senses of self-importance. You bet your fucking ass they do. Uh, two, a preoccupation with fantasies of, ad- of unlimited success, power, brilliance, beauty, or ideal love. Oh, man, you guys are fucking di- I'm diagnosing you. This is Dr. Conti. Dr. Dr. Conti's Rx. Number three, a belief that he or she is special and unique and can only be understood by or should associate with other special or high status people or institutions. <laughs> Four, a need for excessive admiration. Oh, you only need five of the nine to be considered a narcissistic person, to have narcissistic personality disorder. A sense of entitlement. <laughs> Six, an interpersonally exploitive behavior. Ah, lack of empathy. Damn, these fucking guys. Number seven, lack of empathy. Jesus Christ, all they think about is them fucking selves, making 100 videos about themselves. Number eight, envy of others or a belief that others are envious of him. <laughs> uh, shit is written for these guys. Hey, come on, come on the show, man. Let's have a debate. 
Let's have a debate. I'll be civil. I'll be civil. You don't have to be civil. You can say whatever the fuck you want around here, man. This is no censorship show. Just split the screen, and you guys are talking out, man, because I'm I'm not in your case, man. I'm not inserted in this at all. I'm the... I'm the investigative journalist. I am the journalist investigating this very, very significant piece of new uh, legislation that is probably going to appear in the QAnon killer case because that is the premise of, of how a kook can be pumped with false ideas and frivolous disputes and frivolous motions and frivolous conspiracy theories by the two gentlemen that we're talking about. They have direct ties to QAnon, of course, Mr. Carsey, and you know, a lot of other fucking Q. You know, everybody's got these connections to QAnon. So. And the ninth, number nine, a demonstration of arrogant and haughty behaviors or attitudes. Yes, yes, yes. So Marcus Conti reporting today. Um, kindly become a Patreon of the, uh, Patreon of the show. And for as little as $2 a month, you, could, uh, you can help support this very progressive, very important direction in in uh, in online media. A uh, Marcus Conte reporting.